We're at the ACME Acme Southern Nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a great show, great swap meet. Let's get the camera turned around and check out some bargains because there's some good bargains here. Got the big scale kit, 16. Oh, extra decals. What's the decals look like to come with it? That's a neat kit, guys. Parts, don't they? Mm -hmm. Fifteen dollar sealed kits. These will sell out quick. I'm here first thing. These will be gone by the end of the day. The 32 that just came out, that's that kit there, but changed a little bit. You guys want to get into building semis, that's the kit to build right there. Anything good? A few. A few? A little too much. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is their idea to kill the cougars. This model roundup, they're busy. Plenty of 30 Fords. Gotta love model roundup, favorite mail order place. You're gonna get a kit mail ordered. Yeah, we're moving it. Any good stuff down there? Now we're looking for a outcast funny car. Oh, does he say there's one in here? No. Uh, but you gotta look. Oh, there's also good stuff. There's good stuff in the body. Oh, yeah. We're just talking about all of these two. No rimmels are out. With the skeletons. These boxes are like treasure hunt. You never know what you find. Not 
selling it was Byron Black's company. Probably sold him three years ago for racing. <laughs> it's just when my mood would change, I'm just doing nothing but slot cars. Oh, I want to build another custom. <laughs> No, looks like an old original box right there. 15 bucks, that's not bad. These accurate miniature Corvettes are really nice. They got great engines. Yeah, detail on the back if you look at it. Yeah, they're cool kits. How much you got on them? The open one is less expensive since it's open. 40, 45 for the white, 35 in the open. Okay, thank you. She told me on the phone, supposedly that's the build for next year. Ah, okay. <laughs> and him get Le Mans. You got the inside scoop, don't you? I said if I'm going to bring stuff and be, you know, like last year I didn't know about Radwood and I had tons of 80s, you know, like there's an RX 7 down yeah. there and some BMWs and stuff. And I think if I would have known, I would have brought it. Yeah. I asked. I said, I said, this is what the yards are. Alright. I have the salt on my hand. It's You ain't even looked inside it yet. Not all the way. Let's get ready to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did open that one. Shut up. Somebody stuck the red lens, the red lenses and the tail lights, but they didn't blue them. Yeah. I'm on a recon mission. First time I ever did. See about this one. This is nice one too. It's a 60. Or no, it's 59. That is. 59 Plymouth. You can, there you can take I'm going to get these two. I don't know about that one. Well. Yeah. I'm going to have to make some more money. I don't see them tomorrow. No, I don't see them. I didn't see them. This is a Very cool. Uh, that Old Rambler. Usually, and these kids are going quick, guys. You gonna get that one? I don't know yet. Yeah. Get on somewhere. I'll find. What are you asking for that one? That's the Falcon. Made me an offer. Fifty. I think it's more like 80. This is the original bomb. I'll pass. I appreciate it. A little bit. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to give it a little bit. Oh, check this out. That is cool. to put them so you need to sell stuff don't you yes yeah there's more in the other box and the smoke's coming yeah i bought stuff off you last year you were sitting right there last year this is my i remember oh yeah i remember you always have good deals yeah yeah i remember <laughs> yeah i brought some bought some kits from you last year yeah you got good prices this year too yes 
more better than the last year. Yeah. Yes. Excuse me. There was two sets out here. There's a deep set and a set that you yeah, want to like got. I can get you some rings. Hey, I like the shallow rings. Okay, we'll take take the deeps and then we'll get you a set of we'll get you a set. Spirit of 76. Yeah, yeah. What kind of Marlin kit? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah and, and you can go through these boxes and we make a deal. I, I will get a Marlin on the track. I'll take one two. Between me and you, all of this stuff here. Give me a hundred dollar bill in your hand. Uh, you have to hold up on that. Huh. Still a little too much for me, but I'll think about it. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I've tried, tried to work for you. Semis. We got semis. Look at all this stuff, guys. I think he's got about 200 semis here. Turnpiker kit. You don't see many of these. I've got one sitting up on my bench that you'll see in a lot of my videos. A lot of people have asked about it. I'll show you the inside of a turnpiker. There's not much special about the kit except for right here. That piece right there. Really, really hard to find And of course, the decals are different. There's your decals. Isn't that like a 60 Ford? No. The wheels are different and the front bumper's different and the grill's different. That tree right there. I don't know. It's a newer kit. That's your turn packer. We get asked about this kit a lot. Let's see what looks like. Catch on Facebook all the time, but um, Donnie's floating around here somewhere. Who? Don Hollison. Oh, yeah? You gotta go see the big rig oil rigs he builds. Dear God. You don't see this kit too often. Let's see inside of your International S Series kit. And you got this here international kit, which is cool. You don't see it too often either. It's sealed, otherwise I'd open it up and show you the inside. And then we got the rubber duck. Let's see what old rubber ducky looks like inside. And there's the ducky with the display stand. There's your cab. Chrome trees. I always like the oil pan on this. I'm gonna get it. 
This oil pan's cool. It's even ribbed. I always, when I was little and built this, I thought this was some custom wild looking thing. Aluminum oil pan. Yeah, just a cool childhood memory. And that's our rubber duck kit. Good old kit. Everyone's wishing this would come back out. And another international. Another one you don't see too often. Dang, you gotta love these colors. <laughs> Have they always been baby blue? I know mine was when I was a kid and built it. It was baby blue. Never painted it. Thought it was the neatest thing in the world. There's the chrome tree. Of course, your see-through grill. How cool is that? Your international. A lot of neat kits here this guy's got. There's BJ and the Bear. The old Max Schlitz truck. Nice. Ah, here we go. I've actually waited in the line to go through this box. There's been guys going through it for a little while. And a few treasures even walked away from it. Cool. Now your Far West trucking kit. There's a whole bunch of resin bodies. This is pretty cool. This catches my eye. I don't know. I've been in a Palace lately. I'm a Mopar guy. What the hell's wrong with me? There's a Mopar. This Firebird looks neat. Cool stuff. They look like they're all about 35 to 41 bucks. Pinna. Pinna looks cool. Cool stuff. No, that's all right. <laughs> of course, it's slicks decals. Got all their stuff. Love slicks decals. Well, we can try to get it. He's just taking up a blocker. 
I've always wanted to ask you guys, how many different decals do you offer? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Well, I know it's a bunch. I've always been curious how many. Gosh, I don't, you know, I mean, we've produced a lot more than what we have because of all the NASCAR stuff. Yeah. So, like 2,000 different ones? More, probably. Is it more? more? Than that. Yeah. Yeah, because I think when I was doing these, it ended up being like almost 700 in these when I was cutting these yeah. tappers. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. My hands were getting sort of cut. Probably going, how many? 92, 93. How much are they here at the show? Um, they, they're just the regular price. So okay. Uh, is it still? So is it buy four, three yes. get one free? Yes. Okay. And then four, we have four fifty minis, seven fifty minis, and then the big sheets are ten fifty, twelve fifty, and fourteen. .50. Okay. So if they're not marked on the big ones, they're ten fifty. Okay. Thank you. I bought them from you guys a lot, and I really like them. The minis have, I've really fallen in love with. Those are so cool. You know, we weren't sure when we started them, and it's like, wow. That's you know, probably some the... of our dealers are like, are you going to do any real sheets? And it's like, we sell so many more. Of them. I bet you, everyone I know loves, loves the minis. You guys do a great job. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Some cool vans. Matilda. You don't see that too often. You don't see the six wheel van often either. Nor the cuckoo nest. Nor the disco. You like disco? Yay or nay? I'm so glad they came back out with this. I'm building that right now. Give you some Novas. It's a good like kit, Brian. Yeah, that's why I got them. That's why I got them. I've seen They dried up too for a while. Up. Moby has said, get them while you can get them. Oh, they do that on purpose. Yeah, they got a bunch of them. Round, model Roundup does. What did I get? Oh, I only gave you 30. You need to give me some. Well, these parts packs will sell quick. There's a good price on these parts packs. Yep, don't need them. Real good price. There's your moon eyes dragster. Remember the Rebel bubble kits? I had those this morning. Yeah. I knew somebody right here with that. Neat set right there. Hubcaps. Cool stuff right there. is not complete. 20 bucks. Been painted. Not barracuda. Not complete. Bags of tires for a buck a piece. Someone took a lot of time bagging all this stuff up. Different sets of tires, a little bit more money. Hubcaps. There's a tanker trailer you don't see too often. It's actually a really nice kit. 30 bucks ain't a bad price. These are good kits. 
We got a lot of tools in them. A mill, toolbox. These are great kits, guys. They're heavy as heck, too. It's interesting. 16 scale. Huh, very interesting. Love me some Harry Gant. Favorite NASCAR driver, guys. Let me know down below who your favorite driver is. Love old Harry. Salvino's come out with some Gant stuff and Skull Bandit. Getting ready to come back out with that. Oh, did you? Finally got my hand. Aqua rod. And then the 70 rotor on the center block. 50 cents a piece. 71. Yeah, 71. Cool. Really? Yeah, you're not going to do anything. You got some fresh air right there. Yes, sir. They just popped the door open, too. Nice spot. I'd keep it open all day. It'd be a beautiful day out. Too nice to be inside, really. <laughs> yeah, it is. The past couple days has been real nice. Yes, it has. I've got to enjoy it while we can. Yes, sir. How much you got on your kits? Different prices. Okay. Dad knows the, knows what the arms to sit here with him when he goes. Okay. I guess he's shopping. <laughs> I don't blame him. Did you already shop this morning? I walked down right here. That's cool. Did you build that? No, I did not. Okay. I haven't built anything in years. I shake too much nowadays to build anything. Thank you. You're very welcome. We've got this whole side here. we got the model kits on that side. Yeah, the, those four tables there. No Honda kit. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool, cool kit. That is neat. That's original issue too. Yeah? Yeah. Don't see it too often. No. What's a ship doing here? We, hey, we got ships. We got... That's out of place. Guys. How about the uh, little guy with the gong on the truck with all the lights? Can you see him? I sell that. You even got an airplane. What's up with the ones in the back? Are those, those the ones you just bought? No, and those are ones. Those are for sale those too. Those are for sale too. So we got some 112 scale Tamiya F1 figures, uh, some more trucks, and everything. So. All right. <laughs> got a nice little cozy setup right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we use the board to carry everything like on a stretcher. There you go. Oh, we carry a lot of stuff. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Let's see. They're even overflowing in the back here on the bleachers. I'll give you an overall view of this swap meet here in a little while. Of course, that view this morning is when they were first setting up. It's getting busy. It 
it is built. And I figured 10 bucks wouldn't be bad on it. No. 10 bucks is worth that for the box. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How much you got on, how much you got on the International? 60. Okay, thank you. They don't want you to help the tip deer outside. Yeah. Don't buy that Oh, I yeah, I would too. I would love it. If it. <laughs> she likes it. She's fine with that. It'll take her out every once in a while. Tim, how you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? Fine. Oh, my Get out, you guys. You're all right. You bring any models for the show? Oh, on your uh, display stand? Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. All right. So he was not going? Bad trouble. Yeah. What you got there, Oki? What I have here is uh, what's ready, but not quite. 1954-55 Powell pickup. The back in here is a 54, but it's a separate piece I just glued. Okay. If you take that off, the back end for the uh, 55 is on there. Most people, well, most people, people who know about the Powell know that they had the uh, doors to pull out. They call it fishing pole doors. Or something. They didn't have the 54, but they have the 55. It's got a different back end. All right. That's your latest and greatest offering, isn't it? The Powell or the interior? Both. Uh, it's a trifecta. Yeah. There's also these uh, 3D printed uh, oh. Bravo heads and okay. Palm heads and some jiggers. Nice. Keep all those shirts you need. There's them shirts. Not me. The other guys are wanting them. I've been wearing your shirts advertising Good for man. you. I don't see it on you. Not today. I wore it yesterday. Oh, okay. Okay, get these Johan shirts, guys. Of course, it's always nice to see replicas of miniatures. They got some great stuff here. These people are definitely an asset to our hobby. If you've got it, yes. Kind of a toss up on uh, buying kits or replicas of miniature stuff. What I got more of. Back to 100%. 100% top quality, this stuff is. I know, it's great to see you out and about. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. My wife's going to think I went to Panera today. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good seeing you. Appreciate it. Oh, okay. That's okay. It's a bag. I appreciate it's a bag. it. Yeah. Replicas and managers. How you doing? Hey. How you doing, man? Where were you yesterday or last night? I actually came late. I'll wait until you're done video. You still looking for a Marlin? Um, I'm just looking around to see what they have. All right, there's a marlin over there for you. I'll catch you later. Oh, well, Alvin, I told Alvin you were looking for one. He's been chomping at the bit. In the front there? Yeah, over there on the corner. Look at that one. Oh, right here, yeah. Yeah, yeah look up from the inside. Yeah, that's what I was Holy doing. crap. Yeah, there's Break that, that's that five gallons of super glue. <laughs> super glue, yeah. What was that a Ford wagon? That is it's a, a ambulance. It's a um, 53 Ford ambulance. Okay. Whose body is this? Motor City. Oh, okay. okay. I've never seen this before. Wasn't it Kevin Lutz? No, it's a guy. It's Jeff Ballard. He, he oh, knows okay. Kevin Lutz. Yeah. They're, Very they're, cool. Were, no. They were kind of halfway together. Beard, no beard. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Jeff looks like me. More resin to choose from. That's cool.
He doesn't have a chop bug. What's going on, man? How you doing? You too. Did you bring some stuff? You bring your charger? Yes, I did. Nice. <laughs> nice. We'll see, man. There's a lot of good stuff. Oh, there. yeah. Looks decals. Oh, the trash truck. Let me know down below if you guys have bought the trash truck. Long anticipated kit coming out. Definitely a good one. It's a great kit, guys. If you haven't bought it, you got to get that. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Trying to make room for you. You got it? There you go. More kits on the back? Well, let's go see. A big old long row of kits right here. Look at that. Oh, I almost broke my neck. Oh, yeah. Craig sits up at a lot of shows. He does really good. Has a lot of the new stuff that just comes out. And a lot of older stuff, too. Vet. I had just bought this kit. Love it. Living some childhood memories on that bad boy. In the middle of working on that. I gotta get that finished. Can we pull it out for you? No, that's okay. Sure. I'll pull it out so you can buy it. Give me a hold of that stuff for you so you can keep shopping. Okay. I'm gonna knock the question. Sneaking in here, sorry. Uh, a lot of people say that they they let the water uh, evaporate and then they you know, I don't know what they do with the tub that the resin is in, the water washable resin, or, you know, the water that they wash their parts oh, okay. in. Oh, okay, yeah. After, after they wash their parts, they let it evaporate, and then I don't know what they do with the resin that's left. I don't know. I but, see you guys in Ohio all the time. Yes. <laughs> is this turn? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Are you from that way, I'm assuming? We're, I'm from Louisville. I go to a lot of the Ohio shows. I've purchased some tires and wheels off your husband, I'm assuming? Yes. yes. That's where I always see him. I recognize this. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time we've been here. Yes. You guys got a great spot, too. Yeah. <laughs> what's your most fame, what's your most popular wheel that you sell? You don't know? All right. You just you're just babysitting the booth at the moment while he's out shopping. Yes. All right. That's probably the reason why he brings me to these things, so he can have fun and not have to sit. 
There you go. Yeah, usually these daughter bags sell out in Ohio. Yeah. 